Looking for European theme park adventures that are super easy to get to? Look no further than Madrid. The Spanish capital has a duo of world-class theme parks. This is Stu for out and back travel. Coming up, I've got a two for one deal that you really can't miss. The incredible city of Madrid is home to two amazing theme parks, Park Warner Madrid and Park de Attraction Aes de Madrid, which I will call PDM from here on in so the video doesn't take hours. PDM is located in the city itself. The seven coasters in total, the big shot being Abismo, the very unique and very orange Mara Skycar coaster. PDM has a big collection of rides, including many that will spin you about, a large Nickelodeon kids area, year-round haunts and gentle scenic rides including a jungle cruise and the zeppelin suspended monorail. Park Warner is a fully themed movie park located 50 miles south of the city. The park opened in 2002 and was originally a Six Flags park. It's home to an impressive and well-rounded collection of rides including Superman, a B&M flawless coaster, a Batman the ride, there's also a great Looney Tunes kids section and even a small water park. Stuntfall is my pick for the most terrifying coaster. The giant inverted boomerang offers a relatively smooth ride, which starts with a nail-biting 200-foot face-down vertical climb. Madrid is served by many direct routes from the UK. I recommend checking Skyscanner to find the best route that works for yourself. These are two of the easiest parks in Europe to access using public transport. The simplest way to get to PDM is to use the city's metro network. From the airport take the pink line number 8 and then change to the dark blue line number 10. The park is located just across the street from the Bataan station. To get to Park Warner from one of Madrid's central train stations, take the C3 train line towards the Pinto station. From here on days when the park is open, the 413 shuttle bus operates to Park Warner. You can also take a shuttle bus from Madrid city centre. Operated by Samar, tickets cost €9 Euros for just the bus travel or €36 Euros for a combination ticket including travel and admission. If you're picking up a hire car, the journey between the airport and Park Warner will take around half an hour. It's then 35 minutes between the two theme parks and another half an hour from Park de Attractions back to the airport. Staying over in Madrid you're going to be sport for choice as there's so many hotels and accommodation options. If you're looking to stay near Park Warner itself, accommodation is a bit scarce. If you're using a rental car, Pinto, the town that also has the closest train station, is a good place to stay over as there's a couple of hotel options, including a Holiday Inn and an Ibis. There you have it then, that's Madrid, one of the simplest, easiest, most straightforward cities to explore, with the benefit of two amazing theme parks. Which theme parks would you like to see travel guides for in the future? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe on the way out and back. Thank you.